going to do a light-hearted piece for you. This is called The Lament of a Wirral Mother-in-Law. And it is written in the perspective of a no-nonsense northern woman who, shock horror, is confronted by the fact that her daughter is marrying an intellectual. So I hope you enjoy it. I shan't forget the time she introduced him. He wore a scarf and patent leather shoes. With trendy specs I'd seen on Tony Woods, that smarmy little get who read the news. His pasty face, though not a bag of spanners, was hardly of the Patrick Swayze cast. And though I couldn't fault him on his manners, she'd never gone for manners in the past. I offered him a plate of Walker shortbread. I purchased it from Tesco, two for one. Thanks, he said, his hand across his forehead. But just right now, my appetite is gone. Christ, I thought, I'm not surprised he's scrawny. And I came to my conclusion, so to speak. For as my dear mother used to warn me, never trust a man who doesn't eat. Yet all these years on, they're still together. The wedding's booked for the 28th of May. But while they say they'll live in married bliss forever, me and Dave have doubts, that's all I'll say. He calls himself a gentleman of letters, almanacs and other brainy books. He said he felt complete the day he met her. In other words, he's in it for her looks. He has the wit to entertain for hours. He talks a decent game, but don't they all? His fancy words. They don't assemble showers, nor fix that wonky lampshade in the hall. It costs the earth as well, I won't deny it. He earns enough, of course, I'll give him that. Whatever takes her eye, he'll go and buy it. Sweets from Boundary Milk, a Persian cat, but not a dog. She says he's rather nervous. A setter bit his knee when he was ten. Now fear has its place, but look, preserves. It's not the sort of thing you want from men. I've warned her that his ways will soon annoy her, particularly his lack of common sense. I said it's no good in reading upon Goya when he cannot even paint the garden fence. But Mum, she says, he's all I ever wanted. He's dead attentive, gentle and refined. He said I'm like a modern Lola Montes. And even you'll agree, he's very kind. He calmed you down that time you had concussion. When a table lamp took flight in BHS, Look, I said he might as well have spoken Russian. Such was my confusion and distress. And it's by the by, in being dead attentive. He doesn't drive, she says his nerves are shut. And neither is he good to have a pint with, Marks and Spencer's linen suit or not. Anyway, I'd better stop complaining. I'm a Mr Kipling's apple slice to get. And I said I'd go before it started raining. And thankfully, it hasn't started yet. Thank you.